Today is exciting for you, not only because it's about writing. Who does a lot of writing at work? Who does influential writing? Persuasive writing? Pictures, memos, reports, proposals? Okay. Not only are you going to walk out of here a much better persuasive writer, but you're going to walk out of here a much better amateur psychologist. Because the principles you're going to learn will help you with your one-on-ones, with your negotiating, with your meetings, with your... Pres- who, who does face-to-face pitches and presentations here? So many of the principles that we're talking about today are actually directly applicable to those situations as well, to, to give you more oomph. Cialdini says that mother turkeys are incredibly maternal. They're wonderful mothers. If, if a turkey chick is near her and it cheeps, she'll gather it under, under her wings. The mother turkey's arch enemy is this guy, the polecat. And even if you drag a stuffed polecat close to a mother turkey with her chicks around her, she will freak out, fly in a rage, and try and attack that polecat and drive it away. It's a stuffed polecat. But guess what happens if you put a recording of a turkey chick cheeping inside a stuffed polecat and then drag that close to a mother turkey? What do you think she does? She loves it up. Oh, come on, you beautiful little turkey chick. Come on, come on, come on, come on. (laughs) She loves it up and tries to take care of it because it's the cheeping of the chicks that triggers her maternal tapes. And you might go, well, that's that's why they call them turkeys because they're dumb. People aren't like that, are they? There are four basic personality types, sort of harking back to Jung's days. Drivers, amiables, analyticals, and expressives would be the four basic ones. It's interesting to think about your writing applying to different each ones of those as well and adjusting to each of those styles. Uh, but analytical people especially, I've learned, they, they, you know, they think if someone's not convinced, well, you just need to give them more facts. Still not convinced? Here, have another fact. Not convinced? Have another fact. It's not about the facts always. There are other things at play as well. But Rudolf Flesch was famous for readability studies. Readability studies. And, and came up with all this research that shows how you make stuff more readable, more engaging. And one of the things he found was that writing that is is heavy in personal pronouns is much more engaging to people. So when it talks about things like you, your, yours, and the reader's name, it pulls people in a lot more. And it kind of gets in sync with that what's in it for me bit as well, doesn't it? Let's say that I wanted to come up with the most forceful argument possible to convince you to wear a, uh, a crash helmet when you're riding your motorbike. Who rides a motorbike here? Okay, so to convince you, let's say you were kind of really, you're in some other country, maybe Thailand, where you don't have to wear helmets, and I want to convince you that it's a good idea to do that. So consequences would be pretty powerful. If you don't wear a helmet and you have an accident, you could have brain damage or die. That's kind of in your face. That's pretty powerful. Example. Here is someone who had an accident and died. Or look at them. Poor things, they've got brain damage now because they didn't wear a helmet. Example, pretty powerful, but not quite as powerful as when it's you. This is powerful because it's about you. This is not quite as powerful because it's about someone else like you. Social proof, make it like them. Authority, you should wear a crash helmet because it's the law. But you can tell that that's weaker than that, isn't it? Getting weaker as you go down. Definition, it's a crash helmet, dummy. You should wear one. It's a crash helmet. You could have a crash. If you don't have a crash helmet, when you crash, you could die. It's getting, it's getting weaker again, isn't it? You start playing with the meanings of words. Trust me, you are salespeople, aren't you? You are selling all the time. You're selling yourself. You're selling your competence. You're selling how well you've done your projects at work. You're selling your business to your customers. You definitely need to learn more about sales. 